Super Dome, where Send nearly had a rough one against Falcus, but now they play against the second runner-up here in the MENA region against Geek K. And so far, so forth, they lose two players. Very, very good start now. Thus far, though, <clears throat> the Send have a bit to work with here. Stark so good for the first. Rocket Swift to trade, though. As it looks like GK, you're in a pretty strong position, Pavlos. With our HUD once again breaking. Yes, this is, this is fair. It's okay. GK, do you have four players to so the two of Ascent? Let's see. Further so able to finish across the finishing line. Ascend must have had a really tough time that last one over his icebox. Now playing in a bind. Happy to change their uh, atmosphere, their environment. <laughs> Seen it. Whenever he's alive, you have to be wary. Not, many, not too many bullets left in that headhunter. Draws out the classic and tries for a random spam. Now they start to move in together. Ascend, not much time to spare. Monster, firstly the charges. He's the healthiest of the two. Guiding light, looking to blind them. Seen it's been left behind, making them think he could be coming in through showers. Monster with another pick. Shorty swing. Monster so low. 20 seconds, mind you. Cena dies. Down a monster. Waylander deals with both. And that's Geek K with the first blood. How do you feel about, uh, after their performance? After the performance of Falcons earlier on. Wall blocks out the rest. Only Vaka makes it far. So that makes it a little bit funny. By the end of this round. Sprint to Uruk. This is the snake bite, I believe. Does damage onto Monster. But by the end of this, this seems to be a Geek K round. Let's see how it's sent play around this okay of course gonna have, to be, gonna have to be a bit wary here pavlos because from my opinion at least ascend they make it look pretty even teleport ready they are keeping it close aren't they worryingly close pavlos as uh these defenders slowly uh they're slowly listing back over to b but it's only gonna be waylander to hold this really well placed hawk though from the sky and now wintry rook has the option to go through this teleporter yeah they've left waylander alone here has to do with it alone chaos a little bit further back waylander falls okay ascend actually find the numbers not only that chaos drops a few missteps from gk end up costing them ascend are on top they get the spike down they've upgraded some weapons and Wintery Rook has to do it alone. He's been spotted. They know exactly where he's coming from. Roxy falls. Wintery Rook Ooh. with an opportunity. But Stark so puts into his grave and puts Ascend on the yeah. board. There's no, there's no way. Once they're here, if you want to play, let's play by Cned. There's no way they're going to come out to play. They're going to hide in their corners. Waylander gets caught. Simple pick by Vak to put Ascend on top, at least in numbers right now. You can see your rotation coming through from the spike towards this left side hand side of the map. Although trades come forth, it seems to be an unassisted push here by Vag, but Roxy Spray does the job. The B site is full under control of the ascent side. That it is now. When you look out to DK of uh, going to this retake, instantly losing the first man. One versus four, and Vag goes on a rampage. I quite like it may garner them a little bit more control because they're unable to do so. Ascend, they will run home with this very quickly <laughs> if you give them an inch they'll make it a mile that's for sure seen that more punish if required but you can see ascend sort of focusing on this left side of the map it's going to be a quick approach by them a very fast push on their way vac pushes forwards orbital strike doing its work onto waylander but the kills from chaos are insane couldn't get challenged on time hiding beneath that smoke beneath the ledge is all that is required for GK that round. Yep, absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. And you look at how Monster's now uh, positioning himself. It's the time to back off. Maybe even save. The money's not great on CNED. But even then, Pavlos. GK, what'd you do here? <laughs> you can see Monster eyeing the spike. No, <laughs> no he's, eyeing a, he's eyeing a weapon. But he takes some damage to the smoke. It was a poison cloud even further, making them think, oh, that's a good fake. Makes them expend their ammo and sort of make him think he's going for the spike. He's got on it. He's got on away. Oh, left. just in time. And in the DP he goes. Got away? He's got a free plan here, Krema. How's he been allowed to do that, Pavlos? Oh, he didn't go through showers, though. Oh, no. Behind him. There's no plant for him. There's no plant for him. 
Oh, another TP! Oh, no way, monster! Oh, this is crazy. This is crazy. You'll get a favorable oh, part as well, perhaps some damage. <laughs> well, at least they got the spike down. <laughs> that That's was actually harrowing. That was and they're being challenged by teams that haven't been represented in VCT. A region that hasn't really been represented either. But Mena is just strong, man. Mena is just strong. Vak first to enter. Chaos punishes. Chaos is the king of B sites, and no one shall mess with his own domain. Whenever they've been multi kills. Very fast push here from Waylander and Rocket. Oh, the Orbital Strike will be the Coup de Gras of Rocket. But it's a three on three. The trades this time come through from Ascend. It's not a complete slaughter. They, they've been able to fight back, but now they need to find space control because so far they've got none of it. Well and truly, Chaos. What does he do here? Watch out, Spot. Has not seen anyone yet? From the high ground. Oh. See, Ned. That's perfect. Wintry Wook. Operator in hand. What can this Rook do against the Kings of Ascend? Yeah, it's going to be a tough one for Wintry Rook. Oh, good attempt. Good attempt on the swing. Couldn't quite get to the crosshead of Copper. Right back the into the action. The second half. Let's see how Geekay perform. And if they can take Ascend all the distance like Falcons did. But if they can finish it off as well. And take these Titans down. Onto the side they go. It seems to be the, the, uh, some space granted here. The wall will not allow any of the cross to come forth. Paint Shows will be dropping to deny any spike plant. But at least they gain the control that they need. Ascend have rotated it over. Well, they have. DK, go through the other teleporters. It's a very real option here. I'm trying to get up. a flank potentially. Look how, how deep Vak is trying to deny all yep. the post plant utility. That is a very important position to hold, but he does end up falling. Monster also dies in that process. Ascend may be in trouble, but not when Cena shoots like that. True left for GK. It's getting a it's getting a little bit dangerous. But Drew Rook has a few line of Seth for the snake bite. He might be getting a few kills, but Ascend managed to win the round either way by a defuse. With the with the orbs. Right. Alright, let's see how this one works out. Very aggressive from the GK. Paint shells. Rockets as well. Spike parted again for GK. Shall it be with the first blood? They forced up into this. Not many teams would do this. Not many teams would have really the comfort to do this against Ascend. Rocket finding space <laughs> through Lance with the judge. And Cena is <laughs> now wondering where on earth did his team go? Where did they go? <laughs> He's alone in a 1v4. Through the smoke. Oh, oh my <laughs> god. Wintry Rook to give that killing blow. Oh, once again, seem like very EK. fast hits away. Indeed. I was about to say that the snake bites aren't really stopping them from pushing. Look how far Shallopy has gone into. Just by the smokes, they feel comfortable to push this. Just by the fact that they've got lap control, they can just go onto the site, but they go even further. And that will be costly because Stark so Zadek greet both of them. Spike will be going down. And this injury doesn't go over the wall that has stopped the plant from happening. CNED holds on, but still, he's so close by to the action. Waylander has to drop from that instance. And it's all down to Rio to try and clutch this up. CNED falls. Can he double it up? He can! Stocks are diffusing. He's in the midst of the smoke. He's running out of bullets. Has to go in for the pistol, but the defusal takes place. And Stocks so gets the final kill to put a send on an equal. He held in lamps here. The rest of EK get ready to assault this site. Let's see if that uh, judge will have any impact here. It's in direct contact. Monster as well together with a judge. The spike will be going down. Different approach of the wall there. Looking to see if they can play on lamps rather than play too far back. No, their idea was to play with a viper spit instead. Now Vak, does he push forwards? Oh, there's a snake bite in front of him as well. Oh, it's dreadful for Ascend. So organized by Geeky as well. Roxy. Denies Shalabi's positioning. Showstopper. What can you find? Once he gets one, Roxy falls. That means no more Viper Spin. Ooh. And there we go. Geeky win the last three kills, one after the other. Looking confident. Is Rinsuri Rick pushing through in the Viper Spit? <gasps> Did Cena just get destroyed by Rocket? What land are we in? Yeah, apparently in the land where Ascend start to bring things back, though. There is a redemption arc, at least in this storyline. 
<laughs> Winter Rook with one HP. Literally, that snake bite kills him. Oh, oh. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh, oh my god. Oh Solo my KO. god. I don't know what he was thinking, to be honest. But there you go. Ascendable collapse. Well, that gives information that GK are nearby. Not triggering any rotations, though. Too precise. Oh, but a strike onto the site. Still, Roxy able to pick up one as they do cross VAC. I don't think he's been spotted, which means he's got the element of surprise, Peekaboo! You're dead! Vak redeems Ascend standing in this game and equalizes the score. Saying, yeah, go do the same thing, man. Go do it. Just shoving forwards, you know? Although well, they're not in the same direction right now. Cena knows, given the information from the Guiding Light, that there's someone nearby, but it seems like Geek are going to go for something really aggressive onto the side. Monster shuts down the only Vandal player of the team. Chaos uses the Sheriff, though, to equalize the standings. Winter Ooh. Rook as well. Is this going to be a Sheriff win? Is this going to be a thrifty win? One side is smoked to maybe allow Geek to get favorable trades here, but uses a wall to break up the entrances. Winter Rook pushes through lamps! The aggression shown by this mana team is insane! Ascend! On the back foot, losing their players, losing their weapons, losing their composure, what? losing Rocket Cena to Cena Rocket again. again. This oh my God. is a statement by GK that Mena is a region to be messed with. You have meddled in our affairs for the last time. <laughs> and for a set. I think they want to go home at this point. GK. <laughs> 11 to 10. The score. We're back off for now. Send. Got a little bit to worry about here, Roxy. The close angle just annihilates rockets. It's a tough one. GK. When you look at the money, when you look at the weapons, should be the one coming out on top. But they've already lost the player. Rocket, that one that you kind of consider to be an entry. So many of these situations. When you Rook just snuck by Monster and ends up with a kill. How's that even allowed? This is... This is scary. Seekers get deployed. The Sky's now going to try and use this to extrapolate where Vac is. Something which Wintry Rook may attempt to punish. And they do! Oh, and now Geek are lost. in charge. There's no money for Ascend either. There isn't. When Geek are on 12, Ascend are with naught. Maybe Starks so can buy up, but no one else. No one else. Cena, this is your moment. This is the time that Ascend bring it back. They're starting to defuse. Is there enough utility brought back to stop them from defusing? Is it coming in a time? It is not! Oh, man. Look, GK have a chance. It's not all over just yep. yet. That slow orb doesn't slow anyone as it lands on top of the Pentagon. Orbital strike. Sent towards elbow. This is an aggressive play here by GK, but Roxy hasn't shown his ground just yet. That's the first kill. Shall he be able to trade it through the box? But still, GK maintain control over the site, but Sen don't want to relieve pressure. They're actually placed their players to walk in dry. Stark so doubles up, and that means GK are in trouble. Wayland has got the spike under his control. He looks like he wants to push towards the A site, but Ascend aren't running after him in the TP. They've all split its ways, and it means that GK have a chance to get the spike down. Oh, they do, Wayland, are trying to find what he can the last possible moment here. This is the make or break for GK Pavlos. Ascend. Oh, they, do they expect it? Do they expect it, Pavlos? There's no way. He doesn't even go for the plant. Instead, he moves towards Spawn, and it seems that monster now is wary of it. There's so much time where this man is being unaccounted for. Therefore, Monster cannot exclude this as one of the uh, one of the avenues that Wayland has taken. 26 points of health. This is rough. This is very rough. Ascend is so close to this. They're not taking any chances here at all. 